everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be tips for um helping out the incoming freshmen to do yes some of these tips can also be helpful to students for any college or for any university so don't you know click off the video just because they say do me yes some of these tips can still also be helpful to you if you're starting you know your college experience this video also may be a little bit long because I do have a lot of stuff to get through. I do have a lot of information to share. So try and get through the whole video if you can. If you can't, still get through the whole video if you can. <laughs> but yeah, I have some really good tips that I think would help a lot of people in their, you know, experience in college. So let's do this. First thing I have to say is get to know your roommate. Getting to know your roommate is really important and um you know your college experience your roommate is like the easiest friend to make when you first get to college especially if you don't already know anybody that's going there um knowing your roommate you know when you when you first when y'all first move in together just ask them hey my name is tiffany what's your name my name is robert what's your name how are you where are you from i'm glad i'm here are you excited to be here because i'm excited to be here that's you know do what you gotta do we're gonna be you know in that dorm together for six months for a whole semester and that's a long time to not be to not have a you know have a relationship with someone that you're living with having a relationship with them allows you to express your express your opinion about what they're doing without creating that awkward tension in the room when you don't have a relationship with them. You get what I'm saying? The next tip I want to touch on is um, take a tour of the campus. Like, taking a tour of the campus is really, 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 really important to do. Take a tour of the campus before classes start. Get a feel of, you know, where your classes are, what's the quickest way to get there, how much time I have to get there. So, Take a tour of the campus, put on you a nice little cute outfit because you might see other people walk around, um, get to know where your classes are, get to know the people, get to know the buildings, you know, and stuff like that. My next point is to wait until after all your classes to buy your books. The week, you know, classes start, wait until that Friday to buy your books. Once you get in class, the teacher will go through the syllabus and she'll go over, he or she will go over you know, the required book for that class and they'll say whether you need the book or not. So don't go out and buy the book and then find out you don't need it. Now I'm on the topic of books. The bookstore also offers price match. What price match is, is basically you say the book you need for a class is in the bookstore for $300. Yes, books do be costing that much. They let you go on specific websites and if you find the book for cheaper, they'll match that price. So say if, you know, your book is $300 and you find it online, you find it on Amazon for like 230 or something like that. That book number has to match the book number that's in the store. So you print out the little sheet and you take it to them and you say, okay, well, this is the price, match it. And they'll match it. Another tip, <laughs> don't eat the cat food before going to class. Do not eat the cat food before going to class. Do not do it. Do, don't do it. The way the cat food is, like, you can literally eat the cat food and five minutes later, you will have to go to the bathroom. Like, literally, you would, like, you would be done, your, you would be done eating your food and like this, you will have to go to the bathroom really badly. If you go to the calf before your class, after you do out the calf, you go to class, you will be sitting in class having to go to the bathroom like a, you'll be sitting there like trying real hard to focus not being able to focus because your stomach is not right that cat food will make your stomach not right just don't do it however on the bright side um college is college classes aren't like high school you don't have to raise your hand to go to the bathroom you just walk out basically you can walk you can walk back in freely you don't have to be like um excuse me can I go to the bathroom and so i know people have probably seen like you know the goal the goal um, dorm rooms or whatever and stuff, you know, all decorated and pretty and nice and stuff. Yeah, that's not going to be you at UMES. You cannot hang stuff on your wall. So do not go buy stuff to hang on your wall because you will get fined 
and I believe the fine is like, like fifty dollars or something. It may be a hundred. It's either fifty or hundred. Yeah, you cannot hang stuff on your walls. No pictures. No calendars. Did I take my calendar there? I don't remember. No pictures. No calendars. No little Christmas lights. No little chalkboard thing things. No little stickers. None of that. None of that can be on your wall. None of it. So don't go by it at all because you will get fined. Another important tip is to do your work and study hard. Like, I'm pretty sure your high school teachers told y'all all this, but I'm going to tell you again. Do your work. Do it. Because it is really, really easy to fail a class in college. I'm going to say it again, and you're probably going to hear me say it a lot throughout this video, but college is not like high school at all. It is really easy to fail a class just by, just by not doing one assignment. Say in high school you missed an assignment and you got a zero for that assignment or whatever. Um, but you got like a whole bunch of assignments and homework and stuff to make it up to bring up that zero back, you know, back to an A or whatever. In college it's not like that. You could go through the whole semester and have four tests. In order to get an A in the class, you gotta get 100 on all these four tests, correct? So say this, these tests, each of these tests is worth 25 points. Say you do badly on this test, right? You're down to a 75 in the class. You went from 100 to a 75 in the class, that's a C. You do badly on one more test, you just failed the class, like that. You're down to a 50 now, a F. I say do your work and study hard I really mean do your work and study hard because like it's it's it's, it's you could you could fail a class like this just from missing that test just from not studying enough to do good on that test you're great you, you just failed a class just by one test just about one test grade just one so another tip I have is to bring a lot of snacks bring as many snacks as you can fit in a little mini van or a little punch buggy or a little convertible whatever bring as many snacks as you can because the path closes I believe at like 7 or 7 30 we all know we up at 8 o'clock 9 o'clock 10 o'clock still want some food have a whole bunch of snacks because I'm telling you you're going, you're going to be hungry after the cab closes and I mean Chick-fil-A don't close to like I think 10 30 or 10 45 or 11 one of them they don't close because like they be they be faking they be closing early they be shady they be shady at chick-fil-a don't go to chick-fil-a get some chips some cookies some frozen meals some microwave meals whatever you gotta bring in your dorm there's gonna be a kitchen downstairs so you can still cook you know whatever you want or whatever so just bring a whole bunch of snacks another important tip i have is stay on top of financial aid financial aid Oh my gosh, I can I can't I can't I can't express my feelings about financial aid in one video. It's not enough. However, financial aid is the reason why a lot of my friends are not gonna be with me next semester. But you just have to stay you have to have to really stay on top of your ish when dealing with financial aid. When the time comes to apply for FAFSA, do it like ASAP Rocky, like do it that day. Get it done that day. Do not wait because it's first come, first serve. You will be waiting, waiting, waiting until the next semester to receive your financial aid. And you'll be like, what am I going to do? Make sure your grades are on point because they will snatch up your financial aid if the grades are not good. Just stay on top of your ish with financial aid because they will, they, they will be one of the reasons you might not be able to come back to school. Join an organization. You may see people on Twitter, you know, talking about UMS is boring, there's nothing to do here. That's a lie. Any college you go to, it's what it's what you make it to be. You decide the own fun of your college experience. If you're not involved in anything, you don't go to none of the parties, you don't go to the events, you just stay in your room and watch TV, yeah, your mess is going to be boring to you because you're not doing anything. Sometimes you're going to find yourself having a lot of free time, especially if your class starts in the morning and you're done by 12 o'clock. You have a whole bunch of free time to just do anything. And instead of sitting in your room, you could be, you know, being active in the activity. Um, say you model in high school, there's a modeling team there, shout out to b and If you dance, there are dance teams there, you can join Ambiance, you can join um, Diamonds, you can join ASA, you can join, um, it's 
somebody else. I feel like somebody. If, I'm, if I forgot you, I'm sorry. You could, you could pledge a fraternity. You could pledge a sorority. What else can you do? There's a Christian club. There's. I think. Wait, is it called a Christian club? It's called a gospel club, a gospel choir. It's something. It's something. I think it's called a Christian club. There's basically a club for everything, to be honest. Go join something. Get active. Do something. Don't just sit in your room because you're going to be bored. This tip comes from experience. At UMS campus, there's a shuttle that you know that goes around the campus and stuff. Goes to different places off campus as well. It's a quicker way to get around, you know, other than walking or asking somebody to drive you somewhere. Be outside that at that bus stop five at least five to seven minutes. At least five to seven minutes before you know they're, they're scheduled to pick you up. It's been so many occasions where I have literally ran for the bus. Like I see it at the bus stop and I'm running and it just drives away. Like it's been times where she was like where they'll see me walking towards the bus and they'll stay there until I get on. But it's also been times where I would be walking towards the bus and they would just look at me and drive off. Sometimes they're shady. Just be out just be out there minutes in advance or you will get left. Another tip, the um the weather at Eastern Shore is like really crazy. It's it's really it's either really extremely hot or really extremely cold. Like so make sure you check the weather when you come outside. It does tend to rain or get really hot and all that stuff, stuff. And I always have this one friend who never checks the weather and wears some ridiculous outfit for that weather and then complains all day about, oh my gosh, it's raining. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. I got this jacket on. Like, you have an iPhone. You have an iPhone. It's a weather app. Check it. This next tip. It's really, 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 important. Like, really important. Don't fight. Don't fight. Just don't, just don't, don't fight. Don't do it. Once again, like before, college is not like high school. If you fight in college, you're not going to get suspended for like a couple of days and then be able to come back. No. You're going to get arrested. The police are going to show up and you're going to get arrested and thrown in jail. It's simple as that. You may have to go to court as well. So just don't do it. Like it's, I'm telling you, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. I don't know about other colleges, but right now at QMES, if you pick beef with somebody and you want to fight them, you're going to get jumped. Like, it, that's, just, that's just the real of it. You're going to get jumped by a whole bunch of different that you don't know because an event is free you still have to reserve your ticket for it i know weird right are you yes get your little you know your hot card whatever and this hot card it's not just you know your identification you can use it you can put money on it you could put um you can put money on it your meal plans on there your bonus points are up there bonus points are basically like you know you could you, it's money to use to buy to buy food outside of the cabs, like Chick-fil-A and Starbucks and all that stuff. Use your hot card to reserve your tickets for when the school has events. So say like, you know, say like it's an event that's five dollars or whatever. You have your, you know, you put your money on your hot card and you go online and you reserve, you buy your ticket with your hot card and at the event, give them your hot card and they swipe it and that's your ticket. Just because some events say free, you still have to go online and click you know, buy a ticket. It's not gonna take any money out because you know it's free, but you still have to have that ticket on your hot card. Only a certain amount of people that can get in because it's only a certain amount of seats. So if you're, if you know, if you're not registered for that seat, then you can't get in. Also, while I'm on hot cards, if your parents are sending you money, don't tell them to put it on your hot card because it's only certain places, it's only certain places around UMS that take hot card. Money that you put on your hot card can't be exchange for like real money once it's on your hot card it's on your hot card and that's it there's no getting it back and my last and final tip for this video is go to class <laughs> go to class man. like i said in that other tip it's really easy to fail a class and it's even easier if you don't go to class it's like just just go when I first started I think it was six but I think they moved it down to three or five, like five or three it's one of them but if you miss a certain amount of classes grade drops down a letter 
Say for instance, if you were at a C, you were at, you know, you were barely passing, you were at a C, and you missed like six unexcused absences, your grade is now a D, and you just failed the class. It's hard to move back up move back up a grade level especially when you don't get a lot of work you don't get a lot of work in college at all like it'll, it'll be hard work but it's like maybe six assignments out of a semester and if you had a d and you had like your your last two assignments and you don't do it like 100 percent good on them you just failed the class it's over you have to retake that class again. But yeah, y'all, that's it. That's all I got to say right now. It's a, I think it's a whole bunch of other stuff that I could cover, but I don't want to make this video extremely, extremely long. Um, I really hope that y'all did watch the whole video because, like, it was, I did. I feel like I felt like I covered a lot of important stuff that I didn't know when I was coming into college. So I feel like y'all should know it now. I hope that I shine a little bit of light on some of the questions some of y'all may have had. You know, while going into your college experience I hope that I kind of made it a little bit easier to you know get a grasp of what you know what to expect when going into college because even though I did say all that stuff college is a really fun experience it's a really enjoyable experience and I want you to get the best out of you know this experience because it's a lifetime experience to be honest I hope this I hope your first semester just filled with just a whole bunch of joy because that's what college is supposed to be it's not yes it's also y'all yes you're also there for the education but you're also there to you're also there to find yourself and figure out what you really want to do in life and all those people that go to you and me yes and if you have any other questions you know involving the school involving you know if you need help with anything you can always hit me up on Twitter on Instagram, on Snapchat, or if you see me on campus, just, you know, if you have a question, you want to say hi, just, you know, say hi. I, all you gotta do is hit me up. I always leave all my social media links in the description below. If you have any questions, anything at all, I don't care what it is, shoot me, a, you know, shoot me a DM. But, other than that, we have reached the end of this video. Um, like I always say on my other videos, please subscribe to my channel, it means so much to me. Like this video, comment on this video, hit me up, follow me on, you know, Snapchat, follow me on the gram, follow me on Twitter, do all that, and I'll see you next week.